Hi, I'm Emily. Today we're here in Orlando, Florida at the Amway Arena where Austin Gutwein is going to be speaking at the Revolve Conference. Austin is the founder of an organization called Hoops of Hope and right now we're going to find out a little bit more about that. So Austin, what is Hoops of Hope and how did you come up with the idea for it? Well, Emily, first off, I just want to say that um, it's such an honor to be able to meet with you here today. And Hoops of Hope started about six years ago when I was nine. I had seen a video talking about a girl who had lost her parents due to AIDS, and I couldn't imagine living life with my, without my parents. And I knew that I had to do something to help, so I was just encouraged to use my favorite sport to make a difference. And so I just decided to go out and shoot hoops, and now Hoops of Hope has become the world's largest free throw marathon. And we have people in over 20 different countries and about 25,000 participants annually coming together to shoot hoops with us. I've read that you aren't all that good at basketball. Is that true? Um, it is definitely true. I'm, I'm really not, not that great at basketball, but that, that's what makes Hoops of Hope so cool, though, is that you don't have to be great at basketball to do it. <laughs> Are there ways for kids who aren't very good at basketball to be involved? Um, definitely. I mean, see, see, that's the great thing about Hoops of Hope is that it's not, it's not about how many you make. It's just about how many you attempt. And it really isn't so much about basketball as it is about representing those kids that we're helping out there. And that's what makes Hoops of Hope so much fun is that you don't have to be great at basketball to do it. How are your parents involved with the managing of Hoops of Hope? Um, I think that my parents are definitely involved in Hoops of Hope by being the biggest supporters, for sure, and the biggest volunteers. I mean, they're the ones that, that make sure everything's working, and okay. they're definitely the, the best people around to make sure everything's going good. What was the very first Hoops of Hope event like for you? Um, the, the very first Hoops of Hope event was pretty much just, just me out there shooting hoops by myself and having my family and friends around me rebounding for me, but that very first Hoops of Hope event was actually just me. I know that you're always traveling around the country on the Revolve Tour. What is Revolve? Um, the, the Revolve Tour is basically this huge uh, Christian teenage girls conference and what we do is we come into an arena like this and totally pack it out with a ton of teenage girls and then we basically talk to them about, about God and the Bible and about how we can still live a Christian life even in, even in a world that sometimes doesn't accept that for teenagers. So we help, we help make it real for them and that's what I love to do is be able to come here each weekend and do just that. How do you get around on the Revolve Tour? Plane, bus? Um, each each uh, week I fly to the Revolve Tour. With all that traveling, are you homeschooled or do you attend a public school? Um, I'm actually homeschooled this year. How do you keep in touch with friends while you're traveling? <laughs> um, well, I mean, with the invention of cell phones, it's, it's pretty fun to keep in touch with friends. You can always just call somebody up, and that's, that's normally how I do it. Austin has written a book called Take Your Best Shot. So Austin, what was it like writing a book? Um, it was definitely one of those very, very fun experiences and it was just great because I've been always encouraged to write a book and it's, it's great to have a tool in the hands of you know our generation as well as adults to let them know that they can make a difference and they don't have to wait to do that. You've been on multiple trips to Africa. What was the purpose of these trips? The purpose of these trips was just to be able to help us to you know, be able to actually see the projects that we were over there. And really that was, that was a very neat experience to be able to meet these people and to see how thankful they were because of what we had done. And sometimes some of the things you know, were like, oh, well, we have a ton of schools. You know, I don't like school. But for these people, that transformed their, their community. And so we were able to see what effect shooting hoops had had on an entire, entire community. So what is World Vision? Um, World Vision is a big Christian international relief organization. What they do is, is they come into communities and they're able to help them to start to become a self-sustained community. And then they also help with getting some of those children in that community sponsored. And really, World Vision acts more as like a general contractor for us over in Africa. They make sure we get those projects built. I know that you sponsor a child. What can you tell us about him? Um, I do sponsor a child. His name is Ignatius, and he lives in Uganda. And really, I would encourage everybody out there to definitely sponsor a child as well. It's, it's a very moving experience, and being able to keep in contact with a, a kid over in Africa is incredible. 
If viewers watching our show want to get more involved, how can they find out more info on Hoops of Hope? Well, Emily, for all the viewers out there watching that, we'd like to get more info on Hoops of Hope about how they can either host an event or donate. They can go on to hoopsofhope.org. Once again, Austin, I'd like to thank you for taking time out of your really busy schedule to talk with us. Absolutely. Thank you, Emily. Well, for Kids Corporation, I'm Emily. See you soon.